Letter 196 Concerning the Eternal Pascha and Concerning Inner Decay April 15, 1884 Truly Christ is risen. I thank you for your greeting and greet you with the wish that you may celebrate the Eternal Pascha where there is both everlasting joy and unsetting, unwaning light. Concerning it, Isaac wrote, Thy gates shall be opened, O Jerusalem, and shall not be shut day nor night. Shine, shine, O Jerusalem, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord hath arisen upon there, and kings shall walk in thy light, and thy daughters shall be born on men's shoulders. Let my soul rejoice in the Lord, for he hath clothed me in the garment of salvation, and covered me with a robe of gladness, and adorned me with ornaments as a bride, and as a young man liveth with a virgin, so shall thy sons dwell in there. And as a bridegroom rejoiceth over a bride, so will the Lord re rejoice over there. Isaac 61, 10, 62, 5. All this is prophesied concerning that Pascha, and much, much more. And as for what has not been revealed as yet, that is an a measurable sea of light and of joys without end. But the present Pascha is not a happy time always or for everyone. Inner corruption hinders us from celebrating as we should. And so we try to scrape out this decay little by little. And the supreme artist sends us suitable tools for this. Files, rasps, pincers, hammers, fire, water. I kept scaring the sisters from the farm with your egg. A.S. screamed bloody murder when the worm crowded out at her. And I scared a lot of other people too, but I was the very first to get scared myself. Nevertheless, as you can see, I continue writing to you as a consolation to you. Save yourself.